my understanding of using a sketchbook is, you know, maybe it's for great ideas, but I think it's just taking time out of your day to go and put stuff down onto paper, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether you just write the same word over and over again, whether you just draw the same dog over and over again, I think it's just putting in the time. You know, there's nothing worse than, and I've said it a million times, of being like, oh, I just haven't had the time. So then make the time. I am Kyle Stewart. I'm a Hamilton-based artist, uh, born and raised. I have a studio on John above Bike Hounds. Yeah, uh, so I went to OCAD uh, for illustration and I graduated in 2016. Um, this will actually be my third year of returning at OCAD, but as a sessional instructor in the illustration department, teaching first and second year. I think it. I think it started uh, when I was at uh, when I was in school and I was when I was doing um, my uh, bachelor of design for illustration. And uh, you didn't just submit an illustration that would then get critiqued and get marked. Like if maybe it was a two week illustration or a three week illustration, and the first week would be. Um, you would hand in rough work and uh, references and sketches and color studies. Uh, and different concepts. Actually, let me just move my camera here a little bit. So I brought, uh, here's here's some stacks of sketchbooks. This is probably from the past like five or so years. Um, and recently I went from using um, sketchbooks to just straight up loose paper that now gets kept in shoe boxes. The thing about most of my sketchbook work or my mind map work of being solely in pen is is the intention behind it, is it's in the moment, it's thought of on the spot. If you make a mistake, it's either get rid of it or work with that mistake. I, I think just the, like that, that idea of working with your mistake, of showing the confidence of, um, of like, what is your intention? It like really bears all. Any artist ever has hit a wall, has hit that, you know, the, the brain farts, like that creative block. And, you know, you can read any self-help book that you want to, or have any, like, just think about it in any way, but if you're just gonna wait for lightning to strike again, I don't think it's gonna happen, I think. Or if it does, you know, it's, it's really sporadic and random. But if you're constantly just putting in time here and there and writing down your ideas to save them for later or references to save them for later, then when you do have that creative block, all I gotta do is just like go back to my pile of sketchbooks, start flipping through them and go, oh, this line here, like this idea here didn't work three years ago, but now I'm coming back and looking at it from a new context. I actually can adapt it into a painting here or a collage here, or, you know, maybe it's something so silly that three years ago I wanted to do like a public install, but that's just wasn't where I was at as an artist. And now I look back on it and I go, oh, I could actually, you know, maybe get this underway. So what I would do was I would start, again, I'm a pop culture guy. I'm a, a kid raised on The Simpsons. Um, and what would happen is I would just like build an archive of images, of ideas, of uh, song titles, of movie titles, just of everything. And I would just start in one place and illustrate it further. I gotta just kind of pull this up. So I would just kind of, you know, maybe I drew this tiger cat, you know, Hamilton tiger cat, um, you know, life is hell, Simpsons reference, uh, there's, there's a lot of Simpsons references in here in this one. Um, you know, some hockey, some tattoo culture, um, some, some cats, some dogs, uh, Chuck E. Cheese, Mr. Peanut, uh, the Munchies, um, you know, there's a little, some black flag. It's just kind of like, what am I 
diving into at a time. Actually, it's so funny that I'm like, oh, it's not, like my work isn't really like a diary. If there's anything, this is so clearly a diary. Yeah, so the mind map ultimately is just um, my brain puking. <laughs> I've been doing these drawing, drawing exercises lately where you get two minutes to draw each thing. Uh, if there are 10 random word prompts, like, you know, maybe one's nature. Uh, the last one was like, one of them was like wizard on roller skates. But I think if I took like that kind of thing and we almost did, um, you know, you got your sketchbook and you almost have like a scavenger hunt. And it's like, and it's like, okay, draw some, draw trash on the ground uh, and then pick it up um, <laughs> and throw it out. Drawing the things that get looked over, um, looking at the things that get looked over, experiencing the things that um, you would walk by on a daily basis, um, kind of understanding your neighborhood as from like a different perspective or seeing the beauty and th things that really aren't that beautiful. And then putting them down in your sketchbook and kind of having that experience uh, live on past the memory.